I don't know about you, but I am loving WandaVision. And despite having little clues on what's going on, I have a lot of theories. But the reason behind this video is less about the Marvel Universe, or more about our universe, and a particular scene that tickled me in episode 4. So from here on out, spoiler for that particular episode. In WandaVision episode 4, we find Dr. Darcy Lewis, who has previously been helping fellow astrophysicist Jane Foster deal with Thor and the Asgardians. She's brought in with some other scientists to try and work out what's happening around Westview. And she says that a weird force field coming from the town is emitting a colossal amount of CMBR, cosmic microwave background radiation. Now, this is not going to be a video on why this is not how the CMB works, uh, or something silly like that. Um, seriously, as an astrophysicist, I would love to be invited to solve superhero shenanigans. I just think this is a great excuse to talk about the CMB, and why the in-world discussion was actually quite funny. So, the CMB is everywhere. Wherever you look in the sky, you see it and its existence is one of the crucial pieces of evidence for the Big Bang. The universe is expanding, we've known that for less than a century, but if you run the clock backward, it tells us that at some point the universe must have been all compressed. This was the singularity that started it all, the Big Bang. Which wasn't really a bang, because it didn't explode it out, it happened everywhere at once. The energy release was enormous. The energy was transmitted by photons, the particles of light, constantly bouncing off electrons, ripping them out from the first atoms. The whole universe was just plasma. For the light to be finally free took 370,000 years. At that point, the universe was large enough and cool enough for that atoms could form without dangers. The photons were free to move about uninterrupted. For the following 13.8 billion years or so, the universe has continued to expand and those photons have been stretched to longer wavelengths. Now they're only observable using microwaves. And that's not an easy task given the many sources of microwaves in the universe. So what tickled me? Well, if you ever watch TV on an old TV set, you probably encounter the static. This is just noise from the antenna transistor and internal electronics but a small percentage of that noise is actually photons from the cosmic microwave background. And I love those parallels in WandaVision. In the real world, the noise from TV was hiding one of the most important discoveries of the 20th century. And in the MCU, something looked like the CMB was hiding a TV broadcast. I hope you enjoyed this brief video on the CMB, and if you're in need of an astrophysicist to solve a superpower threat, hit me up. My rates are very reasonable.